Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video here, you are going to find out how to use a selection tool like a pro in Illustrator CC. So basically in this video, you're going to find out eight different ways of using the selection tool in Illustrator. So we're going to work with, more, with the more simple ways first and then work with the more advanced ways later on. All right, let's begin. The first thing you can do with a selection tool is that you can move objects. Okay. I have this object right here. To move it, all I have to do is just click, hold, drag. And as you can see, it's moving. So click, hold, drag, you can move an object. Another way you can move an object is by clicking the object once. And then with the arrow keys in your keyboard, you can move it up by pressing the up key, move it down by pressing the down key, move it left, right, and so on. Another way you can move it uh, is by holding shift and by holding shift it means that you can move it even faster so hold shift and then press the arrow keys in your keyboard as you can see it's moving faster all right and if i let go of shift as you can see it's moving slower okay simple so number one you can move objects with the selection tool number two you can resize objects with a selection tool. Let me show you what I mean here. If I zoom in, uh, as you know, if I zoom in and click on an object, you see these borders at each corner, at each side. So now if you go move the cursor at one of the corners, at one of the extreme corners, you will see that the cursor changes to this line, diagonal line with an arrow at each opposite end. This means that you can resize the object. So now if I click, hold, drag, as you can see, I can easily resize the object. So I can make it short, wide, tall, narrow, whatever I want. Now, if I want to be more specific and do how I resize it, in other words, if I want to resize the, the object proportionally, all I have to do is hold shift and then drag okay pretty simple now as you can see i can only resize it this way i can't make it go short narrow i can only resize it to its fixed size all right whereas if i don't hold shift i can do this i have more flexibility in how i resize it all right so number two you can resize objects with the selection tool number three you can rotate objects with a selection tool. Pretty simple. So if I click on this object here to select it and I go to the corners again on any corner. So now I'm going to go a bit further out as you can see the cursor changes to this rounded line with an arrow at each end. So now all I have to do is just click, hold, drag to the left to rotate left, click, hold, drag to the right to rotate right and so on all right so pretty simple so number three you can rotate objects with the selection tool number four you can duplicate objects with the selection tool now this is very very useful and that's where things start to get interesting all right so before i do this i'm going to move these objects uh, this object at the upper left corner of the canvas all right so now to hold to duplicate an object you have to press and hold the alt key if you are using a windows computer and the option key if you're using a mac computer so now let me show you what i mean here so now as you can see i'm gonna select this object and press and hold the alt key so notice what happens when i press and hold the alt or option key you see what happens the cursor changes now you see a double cursor it means that you are ready to duplicate the object so press and hold the all in option key and then click and hold with your mouse and then drag and now i'm going to duplicate that image see now i have two two squares now let me move that All right, 
So I can duplicate that again by doing this. So hold the Alt Option key, click, click, hold, drag. Pretty simple. Very simple. All right. So number four, you can duplicate objects with the selection tool. Number five, you can select multiple objects with the selection tool. Let me show you what I mean here. All right, so to do that, I'm going to click, drag on an empty canvas and an empty part of the canvas. So click, drag with a cursor, and there you go. I can select multiple objects. Okay, so be before that, I was just working with one object. So now if I want to work with all of them at the same time, I can select all of them at the same time with the selection tool by clicking and dragging on the canvas. And there you go. Pretty simple. So with that, I can edit multiple objects at the same time. So now, for example, I can change the color of multiple objects. You know, I can move multiple objects at the same time. I can resize multiple objects if I go to the corners. See, so pretty simple and pretty useful here that you can do this all right so number five you can select multiple objects with the selection tool number six you can be more specific into how you do this all right let me show you what i mean but before i do this let me uh, change the colors of these so i'm gonna make this uh, uh green and i'm gonna make this uh blue all right all right, so now say for example, you want to be more specific into how you select objects. All right, say for example, you want to select this object and that object, but you don't, you don't want to select this one in the middle right here. Well, if you try to click, drag and select multiple objects, uh, that's not gonna work. You can't do that by clicking and dragging with the cursor. It's just not possible. So to be more specific into how you select multiple objects, press and hold the shift key and then click the objects that you want to select. So I'm going to press and hold shift and boom and boom. So now only these two objects right here, only these two objects are selected. So now if I want to edit these two specifically, I can do that. I can move these two specifically. As you can see and I can change the color of this specifically as you can see so pretty simple here you can be more specific into how you select objects by pressing and hold shift and then select the objects you want to work with so number six you can select multiple objects more specifically by holding the shift key number seven you can put objects in isolation mode all right this is very useful especially if you're working again with complex artwork um, isolation mode allows you to be more specific into what object you're working on let me give you an example uh, suppose that you're working with multiple objects right here that are right on top of each other I mean it's a mess and sometimes in Illustrator, that is the case. You have multiple objects that are directly on top of each other and things are a mess. All right, so now to isolation mode allows you to work freely without distraction. So now if I say, for example, I want to specifically work with that star right here, all I have to do is double click it and there you go. So now you see, all of these ones are shaded out you see that right and so i can specifically work with our star right here so isolation mode is very powerful and it's very useful with complex artwork all right let me go back so number seven you can put objects in isolation mode by using the selection tool number eight you can create groups with the selection tool and this is one of my favorites i love this one let me show you what i mean here before i do that i'm going to duplicate these three objects at the same time now you remember how to duplicate objects right 
by pressing and holding the alt or the option key so i'm going to select more, more all of these objects by clicking dragging and boom all three are selected as you know if i press and hold the alt key you see that double cursor and drag i can duplicate these objects all right you're duplicated so remember we're gonna work on number eight now we're gonna be creating groups with the selection tool all right so now say for example i want to put uh these two these two squares right here these two squares right here in one group i want to work with these specifically at the same time all right to do that i'm gonna i'm going to hold shift you know, to be more specific or i can click drag or hold shift and select these two objects and then i'm gonna press Control or Command G. So Command G on a Mac, Control G on a Windows computer. So Control Command G, and here you go. So now these two objects are now in one group. So now look what happens if I try to click on one of them. You see, if I try to click on this one, they're both selected. If I try to click on this one, they're both selected. So now I can move both at the same time. Each thing I try to edit right here both of these are gonna be done at the same time all right and you can make you can make the groups however big you want um, if I want if I wanted to I could add these objects into the group too all right pretty simple so say for example I want to add this one into the group all I have to do is select this one hold shift as you know to be more specific and this one is selected and control G boom so now see if i click on this one all three of these are selected i can move all three at the same time so creating groups is really really useful and allows you to edit things under undergo very very easily all right so now let me reset this group right here and to we say and to remove a group and you say for example you want to stop this you want to reset that group and you don't want this to be in a group anymore just hold shift just hold shift and press Control G or Command G on the Mac. So Shift, Control, or Command G. And these items are no longer in a group. See? No longer in a group. As you can see right here, each time I click on one, they are selected individually. Now the last thing you can do is the group th with the group thing is that you can merge groups together. Let me show you what I mean. Say for example, uh, these I'm gonna create two groups here I'm gonna put this I'm gonna create this group command G or control G I'm gonna create a group of that control G or command G so now I have two distinctive groups two individual groups or I can merge these together so if I, if I select this group and then select this group also press control G now these four are in one group so now these groups have been merged into one you see so pretty simple so nesting is very important and that that's called nesting when you merge two groups together in illustrator so very 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 useful so i hope you found these tips useful uh, of how to use the selection tool and this will take you a long way especially if you're working with complicated projects little things like that really 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 help out in the future so for more videos like this please subscribe for more and thanks for watching